now! Who's the god now, bitch? Oh, yeah! <laughs> and Drew only died once and was right at the end. Like, holy shit. And he wouldn't have died if I had my way. But this little bitch right here is all like, oh, your friend's down? I'm gonna summon every tank in existence and I'm gonna go after you and push him, push you just out of the way right before you pick him up. Whoa, I'm a douchebag, oh my god! Oh, I can't teabag him anymore, his body's gone. I got a legendary, a legendary pistol, the double penetrating occultist. Same. The only way you can control people is to lie to them. Hmm. The gear doesn't seem too amazing from what we got this time around, but as hard as that fight was, it was kind of fun. I also got the Shockstone launch pad. Pocket rockets. Oh, the pocket rocket thing, yeah. Do you, uh... Can you go over everything that he had again? Is that something you can do, or is it too late for that? What do you mean? Because you were able to list all the buffs that he had. It's still available right now, just go to your map. On the map? Yeah. Okay. You go over to map, shift it a little, so it's not over something, and you can see mayhem mode. No, Level I see three. it. Level 3. 100 health, 150 shields, 150 armor, 50 <laughs> EXP, and all that. And then enemies take 50% less damage from normal bullets and attacks. So those enemies are the take random ones it picked? 50% less damage from cryo damage. Oh my god. Yes. Enemies take 50% less damage from corrosive damage. Which is enemies all I use. Enemies gain 45% additional health, shields, and armor. <laughs> and enemy <laughs> weapons are 50% more accurate. So, can we talk about this real quick? I didn't know that it was cryo and corrosive. If I had known that, I would have tried to go for the, the fire on the, the flame on my rail guns. It, they they deal a little bit more damage, but it drains fuel faster, but we're at the point where fuel doesn't matter all that much to me. Um, oh my god, man. That explains a lot. Like, you went over the buffs earlier, but I was like, oh my god. This man did not take damage. We started this, holy shit. Holy shit, Drew. We started this at like, a, a like, like 726 or so. You came in, and it was like shortly after that that you came and started warping us. This fight took minimum 25 minutes. Possibly half an hour. That was, that was crazy. Also, Adam, uh, fun fact. Oh yeah, we got loot. Yeah, let's go. Okay, let's let's let you guys see the loot. I keep forgetting we get loot, but um, you gotta sh Oh, dude, right when I ended the first clip, he did the meteors for the first time, and it, I went from like full shield to like six thousand. And I practically keep in mind, Forsaken screen. has only one HP. <laughs> oh, he can see. He'll be able to <laughs> see. That's for sure. All right, let's open this chest. Uh, both one purple, one blue. Okay, what do we got here? Both green. That's pretty trash. Won't lie. What about this one? Ooh, uh, a legendary in this one. Oh, really? I got two purples. What's the red text? Let's have a look. See. That's the not the one. Here it is. Deluxe Baby Maker plus plus safety off. Is the oh, text. um, the Baby Maker. I've got one of those. Uh, or I had one of those. I'm trying to remember what it does. If thrown weapon sticks to surfaces and will merge into four projectiles. Yes, that's what. It, so it'll throw. Um. It'll yeah. It'll make like four little kamikazes that'll run and target them. Safety. Off. Man, internet is lagging. Yeah, that's it. It actually explains what it does on that one. But the Baby Maker Plus Plus Plus, um, it can be any element, and 
Claptrap 100%. It's a world drop, and also you can get it in the mail from Claptrap, I guess. For a crew challenge? I, I don't know. All I do know is this is blue, and I almost didn't pick it up. Yeah, when you when you throw it. It also it... speaks. Oh! Yeah, and if there was a... turrets. Well, no, they're not turrets. Nice. If there was an enemy, they'd be running after it, hump, jumping, and running to go ahead and explode on them. Ah, so they are kamikazes. Yeah, that's what I said. Shooty time. Shooty time. All right, Adam. Well, I just wanted to go ahead and have this, have this recorded a little bit to show you we're on Mayhem 3. Um, actually, let's double check. I'm going to be really disappointed if we go back to Sanctuary and it was like Mayhem 2 or something this entire time. I'm pretty sure it was Mayhem 3 because that motherfucker had a ton of buffs. Yeah, he had a ton. Um, we If we are in Mayhem 3, we killed Tyrene, the Destroyer. With, well, I would, I almost said without too much difficulty, but uh, that'd be a lie. Because, I died at least four times. <laughs> yeah, and I died more than that because we kept getting into situations where it was more efficient to um, off ourselves and make the respawn happen because there was no way we were going to be able to kill any of the small guys. They took too much, they, they soaked too much damage. Running on over. I'm not even loaded in yet. Ooh, we missed some loot. Partially full. Dropped a purple. That's and two the blues. Mayhem 3 statue placement. Alright, I'm coming to see. Like, maybe it's an, uh, an individual thing. That wouldn't make very much sense considering I didn't, like, set anything. But, oh, is it upstairs? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there, there's one. There's two. This is three. And the buffs. Yeah, okay. So we beat Ty both Tyrene and the Destroyer and Troy. Troy was way harder. What buffs did they give her? <laughs> I if don't any. know. We also beat Shiv on Mayhem 3, and let's just say he was about the same. Shiv is unimpressive. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty impressive how small his other arm is, but still. Um, <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go to sorting the loot, and I'm going to see which, um, which, one, which guns I got are better than others, and maybe we'll try some more bosses. Uh, I'll send this to you, Adam. Later.